you guys see that? Do you guys see that? That, that my friends, is a no. Hello everybody, I'm the Shadow Weasel, and welcome to the Souls Project. Now, before I get into things, um, hopefully this mic, from me putting it over there, you probably don't really see it, but from putting my mic over there, hopefully it does not echo again like before. Now, that was garbage. Second of all, um, I've seen that some of my lighting goes off, and then my face is completely dark, so what I did was I raised the gamma of the... Uh, my cam, and uh, I put my um, phone over there with the flashlight um, feature on. So hopefully that will produce enough light so you guys can see my face. And now let's get into the gist of things. This is the Souls Project. Um, I don't really know the details about it, but I did play up to a certain point. Um, I was recording. But as you know, all my recordings fail, so that's why I'm like checking this out. Like you can see new how how closer my face is, all this shit around me and stuff, and and um, it's it's a good angle this time. So um, I don't really know why, but <laughs> it's like that. So um, my father, the the the, I don't even know how to say that sentence. No more waiting. Let's just go with that. Time to play. Um, I know it's controller friendly. Probably when I just get in the game. It's a new game, so you guys can see. I'm going over this slot. Yes. So I got to a save point in a cave you saw there. So let's begin. I'll try to run it down as much as I can. Oh yeah, long loading screens. Almost forgot about this shit. Oh. That was surprisingly short. Okay, let's continue. In the year 2000, scientists has identified a rogue class B star traveling towards us. Earth and the solar system would be destroyed. The Prolos ship were, uh, were launched in 2149. Three giant colony ships which carried thousands to a safe zone near Pluto. In 2151, the Earth was destroyed. I, I can't read fat. You guys can pause the video and read it yourself. Our last chance of survival is known as the Souls Project. Three, two, one. Two. Oh. Well. Fifteen years later. Now cue the penis ship. Okay. Mission TSP-3 arrives at... Gillis 6148C. Yeah, see, penis ship right there. <laughs> We're about to land with maximum pre. Uh, uh, mass. Maximum penetration. This is like the credits, that's all. So, that's Pluto over there, if I suspect. And that's where we're going. And we get shot out of the sky by a gigantic laser. So sci-fi, isn't it, guys? Definitely didn't see that happening. Anyway, these graphics are on point. Look at that explosion. Damn. And then I'll pick who I picked last time, a female. Okay. I got like a picture of a dogs on my of a dog. Of dogs Yuri, on my freaking wall. Can you hear me? Where is everyone? Did anyone make it to the drop pods? See, in that explosion, I don't think anyone made it but you. Mars! Is anyone there? Am 
My eyes hurt, by the way. <laughs> this is all these flashlights. Okay, is this gonna be short or is it gonna be long again? Anyway, the ambiance in this one. Freaking crazy. You can hear it in your ears, man. It feels like something's shuffling around inside my escape pod here. I think this is gonna be a long one. I think I need to cut this one out. Yeah. Got some dental floss when I get the dentist, you know. Got my teeth cleaned and checked. Well, some people are scared of the dentist. I don't know why. There's nothing, not much to be scared of. I mean, well, they got the, the those tools they use, but that's nothing to be afraid of. I I got a little little link of me boy or amiibo, however you want want to call it. Got him, you know. His little hat. That guy his shield, his sword. Never really used it on anything. My 3DS does not have the amiibo connection, but you know. Still freaking cool. I have, have him decorating my computer here. Which is a little messy too. Too bad you guys can't see. Oh. <clears throat> Okay, so from from what I've played, this this game is like a survival adventure game. They they take the aspects of survival, but you also need to travel to a specific point. So you guys are about to see. Look at all that water! Now, um, a lot of you guys probably don't watch your step next time. Okay, you're, 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 it's just gonna heal up like that? Damn. She's a wizard, Harry. Anyway, what I was getting at is if you don't know, know me, then water is one of my biggest fears. So, and look what they say right here. Rebreather. 50% more air while diving. Why the hell do I want to dive? That seems like a horrible idea. Anyway... What I want is You know what? Sprinting because I'm gonna be doing a lot of running. I don't um in the cave you'll see see when I get there. I'm not gonna spoil anything yet. Feet and miles? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, I'll use my um gamepad here. It's Xbox One because I'm an Xboxer. Oh, you PS... PSP people can start yelling now, but Xbox is for me. Now, now the first when I first came to this freaking place, I was looking all over the area like, oh, where am I supposed to pick up? Where am I supposed to go? And it was right here the whole time. And um, I was uh, pissed at myself <laughs> for not noticing it uh, sooner. So, this is our little... Local survival overseer node active. Wilson interfacing with operator. Operator vital signs detected. So what this is, is my little own health gauge, my survival tool. So I can survive the horrors of this planet. Like those aliens who will try to eat me and those spiders who will jump on my face. So, um, if I remember, I'm supposed to, yeah, learn how to pick stuff up. And learn how to craft things. Um, I need to craft a sharp, sharp, rock, a sharp, a sharp rock. There. Now I can cut my way out. Okay. As simple as that. Yes, yes. Sleep object objectives. Fuck. Um. Okay. <laughs> Uh, as soon as possible, secure a source of heat, fresh water, and food. <laughs> Excuse me. Find a place to take shelter. How you deal with the first few hours is crucial for your survival. Yes. So if I remember right, survival training. if I am not fast enough, 
It's all up in Freaking place. Mother Nature comes after me, so. Damn, it's some bright though. To ah, Paris my eyes. Somehow. Let's Better see what have we a look here. around and see if anyone. Pipe. Or anything made it. There we go. Got some some cans right here. Canned food, right? Uh, let's check our inventory here. Yeah, yeah, that's some food. I'll just eat that now. Uh, how do I throw this away there? Okay. Okay. Be before I was a little lost on what I'm gonna, what I was supposed to do, but I'm finding things out faster than I expected to. Okay, I got some fresh water. I was gonna pick this rock up. Um. There we go. I'll pick that up. Okay. What I'm supposed to do is put this on the pipe. Oh shoot. No. I, I want this on my pipe. Oh my god. Just go on my pipe. No. Oh, this is a lost cause. Okay. Okay, I guess I have to do it by the game's rules. I have to combine it with a normal route. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. If any of you creatures from the deeps come after me, I'll use my magical, um, um, vine pipe thing to banish you back to hell. Okay. Let's oil this up. Okay. Let's catch it on fire. There we go. We got fire. Whose idea was it to walk up to that engine anyway? Like, the awakening. Some fly traps there. I have never walked into those, but I'm pretty sure they'll kill me if I do. Look at these things. Is everything okay? Your feet stopped a while ago. Oh, they scared the shit out of me. Okay. I don't want to panic you, but the other colony ships are getting antsy. If you succeed, we'll have a 15 year journey ahead. The team here are rooting for you. Prolus out. You know what? The gamma's a little too high for this torch. Hold on. Let me put some things down. It's blinding me. They're much better. Okay. Now we can see the dangers of the depths. Mm, don't want to get too close. Don't want anything jumping out and pulling me in. Oh, I'll be gone off this game so quick if that happens. Look at that. Just look, look at how everything looks. It's so beautiful. The gamma was way too high before. Okay. And for the game that looks like this, it runs really well. I'm pretty sure there's some plant traps in there, in the bushes. More of these, whatever they are. They're not even hostile. What, what's their purpose? What's this? What did I just pick up? Beacon. Okay. Um, I need to drop one of these rocks. Okay, yeah, there we go. Drop this oiled root. Don't need it no more. Okay, let's continue. Stretch of desolation. So that's the cave. 
Find a way into the cave and investigate the sound. Something tells me I don't want to investigate the sound. Something tells me I want to stay out here. You know, a tornado would probably be better than in What is that? Artifacts and special equipment from your ship. Improve your attributes. Explore the world to find these and upgrade your abilities. In the stat screen, you can view the effect of your upgrades. Inventory, space, dive time, movement speed, health, falling damage, and climate resistance can all be upgraded. So what's my upgrade screen? I, I, I don't even know. They'll probably tell me later. Oh shit. My headset is beeping on me. Hold oh, on a sec, guys. I didn't have this freaking charged up uh, average freaking... What a casual. Okay. So what I, I remember is I walk out here and then I see that thing flying down and I run towards it. Okay. I got that good sprint though. On your vital signs on PDA. Oh, I'm. Is that thirst? I thought I just drunk some water though. What just landed in there? I am not gonna check. Okay, um, some food. That's a teleportation device, yes. Give me some of this water. Okay, now I need to quickly go because I know what's gonna happen next. Okay, to the cave. Something landed in the water. I am not checking it out. No matter, I don't care how important that is, I'm not checking it out. You all can check it out yourself. Not send no foot in no water. That's that's for sure. Probably a death trap. They probably want you to go in there. Okay, okay, go. It's around here that it starts happening. Yes, the winds pick up, and we gotta get inside. So, so, shoot it in. Teleport. There. Glow stick? Take that. Anyway, out there a tornado is gonna start coming, but... Let's see if we can see it happen. Something behind me? Okay, I thought a tornado was supposed to come. I guess I'm just stupid. That is not light. There we go. I guess it's not coming. Okay, let's continue on. Carrying our supplies, a source of heat and light to explore deep caves. Leaving areas, your plants, and 11 secrets left to be found nearby. I don't care. I don't care. I, I'm going on. Those things can wait for me later. Long ass loading screen. It's a long ass loading screen. It takes like 10 hours At least the music is popping Yeah Sorry for raping your ears guys
this point, Shadow knew this was taking way too long. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, let's, let's still load in some textures here, but yeah, into the depths of the cave. Now I don't know why it would load that long for a cave, unless they're loading something like enemy AI, which I have not met on my first playthrough. But look at this shit, man! This is so cool. Pick a moss on the ground and shit. What is that? Water? <laughs> Just a puddle. Freaking ocean starts pouring in. No, I, I no, I'm not for that life. Anyway, let's keep going before my torch runs out. Cave of, of illuminated. Well, that's a deep drop. Oh, some water. Thank you. How's my water? Good. Okay, look how big these spider webs are, by right? um, just just look at them for a sec. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys something later. Wait, is this like a secret? Can I get through? Can I actually go in here? Oh my lord. Okay, no, I can't. Okay, let's keep going. I still hear those animal sounds. Let's just continue down the breach. What's even down there? Don't want to get too close to the end. Curiosity killed a cat. So I'm probably going to fall down there if I get too close. Some more water. I see some cave light up ahead. Do I need more? Hold on. It looks like it runs out quick. Or is that just my temperature? I'll just keep on drinking. I'll just fill myself up with water. Okay, okay, is that okay? Fill the water and ready to continue on my adventure. The sound is coming toward that way, okay. I don't know why I'm going towards it, but sure. Which way? Let's go the way with the light. Some more gigantic spider whips. You know what? This way looks creepy. I regret taking it. Oh my god, it looks like a giant spider's gonna be. Is something growling at me? Oh man, this cave's getting scary, man. It's getting terrifying. Okay, let's continue through this giant spider whips. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see that? That, that, my friends, is a no. That, my friends, is a negatory. That, my friends, is death. That, my friends... Whew, that, my friends, was a growl. And that, my friends, are giant spider eggs. Or at least I think, unless aliens live in these caves. Unless aliens make giant spider webs, I don't think that's the case. Now, if I went the other way, it would have led back here, too. So, let's continue down the breach. 
Cave of Illuminated 2. Okay, let's let's pick up this lightstone and use it. So whatever is in the dark. So whatever is in the darkness does not find me. Look how creepy this is, guys. This is not... Oh, the sounds are getting closer! I don't like it! Okay. Ooh, look what's over there. Oh, shit. Let me over. Thank you. Orchestra, calm down. Orchestra, calm down. Orchestra, calm down. Thank you. Okay. Whew, I got shivers all over my bodies, man. I feel like something's gonna like jump down from above. Okay. Okay. This, I'm pretty sure, is a save. Saving. Yes. Okay. So for now, this is as far as I got the last time. Everything from this point on will be new to me. So I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully everything went okay. Looking at you, freaking Mike. Better not freaking echo on me again. Everything's good on this side. I hope my lighting was fine. And I'll end the video here. So I was the Shadow Weasel. If you liked my video, leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.